Quatro, quatro. Quatro. Quatro, quatro. Quatro. Spencer Bell, September 25, 1887 to August 18, 1935, also known as G. Hal Black, was an American stage and film actor, best known for playing opposite Larry Semon in many of his silent comedy shorts from the late 1910s to 1928. Bell was one of the first African-American comedic actors of the silent film era and was the first to be signed to film contract. Over the course of his 15-year film career, Bell appeared in more than 70 comedy shorts. Bell was born in Lexington, Kentucky. Prior to his Hollywood film career, he worked as a chauffeur and performed in vaudeville and minstrel shows. He enlisted in the United States Army and served in World War I. Bell made his film debut in Larry Semmons' 1919 silent comedy short, Passing the Buck. As was typical for African-American actors of the era, Bell was typecast in stereotypical roles. His characters were often depicted as bumbling, lazy buffoons who were prone to comedic accidents. Fun fact. Many, many, many years before Fast and Furious became the multi-billion dollar, space-exploring tentpole Hollywood franchise it is today, it was the name of a 1924 silent film. And despite a predictably distinct lack of neon underglow, globe-trotting action, or bald, brooding male leads, the dialogue-less OG flick is pretty much what you'd expect a Fast and Furious movie to be like if it were made in the 20s. Leah Conley stars in Fast and Furious, 1924, a fast-paced silent comedy. Conley's sidekick in this film, as with several in this series of mermaid comedies Conley made for educational and Jack White, is African-American character actor Spencer Bell. The chase in Reel 2 lifts a number of gags from Buster Keaton films. Another one of Bell's most notable roles was that of Snowball, Rastus, the cowardly lion in Larry Semon's The Wizard of Oz, 1925. In that film, Semon credited Bell under the stage name, G. Hal Black, in a mainly positive review. A variety critic admonished Semon for crediting Bell with the demeaning name writing that Bell deserved a better fate. He was again credited as such in Semon's 1925 silent slapstick film, The Perfect Clown. During the 1930s, Bell regularly appeared in the Mickey Maguire film series starring Mickey Rooney, and briefly ran an acting troupe in Harlem. Bell's final film appearance was in the 1934 comedy short Mickey's Medicine Man. Spencer Bell, black American actor, acrobat, stuntman who worked as a comedian for Leah Conley, Max Sennett, Mickey Maguire, and others, also did many bit parts in films of the early 1930s until his death in August 1935. On August 18, 1935, Bell died at his home in Los Angeles, California of complications from abdominal surgery he underwent in July 1935. He is buried at Sawtell Military Cemetery, now known as Los Angeles National Cemetery. <laughs>